Fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> well, I'm back. For those of you who follow along, we've had some real interesting little spikes and crazy things happen, but we're back with you, and I think now we'll probably be okay. So I apologize for the interruption. Go ahead, if you don't care, and share this so that everybody can follow along. Now, we had day one, we've had day two, we've had day three, and this is day four, and this is Calling Birds. And the reason we're doing this is so people can find out a whole lot more about the really popular song. It's in, it's in the top ten songs that people sing at Christmas time, and it's called The Twelve Days of Christmas. It's also called The Twelve Tide. And I realize, and, and I think we've said this over and over again, we realized this would have started on Christmas Day and gone to the Epiphany, which is when the Magi appeared, the gift of the Magi. However, the way the American culture has changed, once Christmas is over, we're ready to put everything up, take the tree down. And in fact, now the, the sort of, well, uh, you know, if you don't have your present, your, your, your decorations down by January 5th, uh, people think that's bad luck. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> so in any case, we're doing the 12 days of Christmas, and uh, I, I want to apologize to you. I'm not a vocalist, but I've had so much fun doing this, and I've had uh, kids stop me around as I've gone and said, hey, I, we're singing that song with you, and it is an earworm. What that means is it sticks in your head and you can't get it out of your head for a while. And it's a fun song to sing. So this is for calling birds, but in reality it's not calling birds at all. Uh, let me grab, <laughs> I threw my notes over here a minute ago. So calling birds, it wasn't even a song, as you know, that, that 12 Days of Christmas wasn't a song. It was more of a ch children's chant, a game that you played almost like musical chairs. You had to remember your part, and if you forgot, if you couldn't remember all of them, why well, then you got kicked out. And so then in the 1780s, there was um, put to words, the words were put down, but at that time it said, Collie birds. Now there's two theories about what that means. Collie, if it's spelled C-O-L-L-Y, translated from French to English, can mean calling birds, but it also can mean black birds. Then there's another version that says coley birds, C-O-A-L-Y, which means black birds. And so we get to the point that we think these probably are four ravens or four blackbirds. James Hallowell, an Englishman, in 1842 put music to this. And then he published this with the music in Nursery Rhymes of England in 1846, four years after he put the music to it. And at that time it was Collie, C-O-L-L-Y. But there are others who say that in that English from the UK that means calling birds. Then it's also spelled C-O-L-L-I-E, collie birds, coley birds, as we've already said, and also colored birds. And in fact, as I did this research for this little bit, there are over 22 versions of calling birds when you get to this point, 22 of them. So it's spelled differently, could be different something else. But ends up, it was Calling Birds in 1909 was when it was put to the American Eng English and also to that Our American. We do the five golden rings a little different than everybody else does. So uh, in 1909, it became standard the way we're doing it now. And that word was written calling. So what do these four birds represent? Well, there are some people who believe that it it represents the four seasons so that you give goodwill and you give a whole year's worth of, of care and comfort. There are others who give a, a sort of a testimony that it stands 
for the four directions, the north, south, east, and west, and that represents you being universal in your giving and universal in your love and care for people. All of that kind of makes me happy, and uh, you should too. By the way, Mike Patterson asked if we're doing this about the same time every evening. We are all the way through uh, till Christmas, and so you want to tune in and be a part of this because I think that it's fun. Now, the other thing that you want to realize is that Kale can also mean, C-O-L-L-I-E can mean calling birds. And what these ravens, evidently, they stake out their territory by calling, and so they sort of navigate their place in the community by calling out. And we've heard crows do that. We know that crows call out, and they make a, a, a sound, and that's what that these English blackbirds do. It's not probably as loud. But I think that that's pretty interesting that, you know, maybe they're giving, when the, my true love gives me four calling birds, that this true love's giving your place in the community, in the family, in the culture, and so forth. So there's a lot of symbolism in this in this song that we don't ever think about. I, I, I know that a lot of young people have been singing this with me. Uh, I went out to the um, Rock Hill light display, and a lot of young people were out there and said, hey, we're watching your 12 days of Christmas, and they started singing the song. And by the way, I want to tell the Rock Hill people, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. And I'd like to know whose idea that was. For those of you watching and you didn't get to go out to the Rock Hill school area, they've got the entire campus lit up like a wonderland. It's a winter wonderland. It's a Christmas wonderland. Uh, Santa's workshop out there, it's all COVID correct. Uh, they've got the... the uh, Polar, Polar Express out there, seriously. <laughs> They've got a train out there that looks just like the Polar Express. It's actually school buses all put together. It's the most inventive, imaginative uh, Christmas display I've ever seen in my life, so kudos to you. And by the way, uh, for those of you who are local, if you've not been out there, it's worth a drive. They're not doing the different live presentations all every night, but I think the lights are up until Christmas. See what I'm talking about? Then they'll take them down. <laughs> So get out to the Rock Hill uh, School and look at those lights. You can drive through where you pull in there at the high school and go down along. There's the school buildings there. Then you can go over to the middle school, tuck in behind the, the new EMS uh, facility there and go in and turn and come back. It's definitely worth it. Um, and those kids were singing 12 Days of Christmas too. So it was a lot of fun. And so uh, even if the, they're not live out there doing the presentations like they were, Last night, we highly recommend that you do that for, if you've got children especially, it's really beautiful. So, four colored, collie, which do you like best? What, what suits you best? Calling birds, collie birds, 20 different versions of this thing. <laughs> so that's why we needed to have these videos. I'm Dave Lucas, and we're doing this every day before Christmas. We want you to join us. Please share this. It doesn't take you any time at all to hit that share button. You don't have to write anything up at the top. Just share it out so your friends and family can watch it too. We're doing the 12 days of Christmas. We'll be back. Tomorrow's going to be special. So come back tomorrow. Catch this one tomorrow. But for now, you ready to sing? You've got to sing with me because, you know, I'm not that good, right? So here we go. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. See you tomorrow. <laughs>